gosh, beautiful. The love story of a stray dog and an Australian runner in the Gobi Desert captured hearts around the world. Joining us today to share their heartwarming story are Dion Leonard and, yes, the cyber superstar now, Little Gobi. Good morning. Good morning. This is so unbelievable. It reads like a film, and it indeed is in talks right now to become one. So let's, we're, oh, look, Gobi's relaxing in the sun <laughs> on the first day of summer. How did you first happen upon this beautiful stray dog? I was running a six-stage, seven-day race across the Gobi Desert. It's 155 miles, and Gobi the dog actually started running with me on day two of the race. She would end up running 77 miles, and four stages of the race was incredible. With her wee little legs <laughs> and this wee little body so determined to tag along with you, at what point did you realize, okay, this dog and I are forming a bond. I think I'm in love. Uh, well, she actually formed that bond quicker than I did, and it took me a few days to realize, like, how much I did love her. But there was a certain part on stage three where I had to help her out across some river crossings she couldn't cross on her own that I then started to fall in love with her. I, I sort of stopped worrying about winning the race and tried to look after Gobi. She's so lovable. But then, of course, something happened where it was too hot and she couldn't continue, and you lost her for a minute. So we finished the race and I flew back to Edinburgh and uh, I got a phone call saying Gobi had gone missing in a city of three million people. Uh, so I flew back immediately and set up a huge search and crowdfunding um, team and page to actually be able to afford to go out there. And uh, we had a city of three million people basically looking for this little stray dog. Yeah. And of course, those people, we actually have a, a photo. They were incredible because they were receiving some threats. There was that dark, sinister side to the search where people wanted financial gain. They realized how much money you would raise to try and find this beautiful soul you connected with. Alas, you did find her. Thanks and so. what was it like, the transition, when you brought her back? She just, she must have recognized you right away. Yeah, she did. And uh, it was just, it was absolute miracle. It's a needle in a haystack. And there's so much more to the story than actually what's been in the press because we yeah. couldn't actually talk about it for so long. Yeah. And I never ever thought for a moment really that we were going to find her. The, the evening that we did find her, she came running across this lounge room that she was in. These people had found her walking in the park. She jumped up in my arms. She was so excited. I was in tears. Everyone was just, you know, in raptures about it. We couldn't believe it. I can't believe how strong and brave and sweet you are. And I love the fact that you share, you know, in the first early days together, you had your food to help sustain you through the ultra marathon. And not once did she try and take it from you. She'd rather just sit there and be hungry and watch you enjoy yours. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you what an angel. You make me feel bad. It's... No, but well, you shared. You shared yeah. what your rations you had. It is a self-sufficiency race, yeah. so you have to carry everything you need to survive the week. Uh, if you and I were in the race together and you said, Dion, can I have some of your food? I'd be like, no way, Dina, you should have brought more food. Exactly. But obviously Gobi needed our help and, and everyone at the race chipped in to feed her. And I think she thought it was just one big party. And now the love and support, it is a big party around the world. You're on a press tour. We have pictures of you in France. We have pictures of you, you know, doing the media circuit in the States and all over the world. How is she as a flyer? She flies with you? She flies with me, and uh, the, we're lucky enough to be, be flown around in business class, so she's getting all the royal treatment <laughs> and lots of meat and cooked sausages along the way. And she's so wonderful with people, and it's so great to be able to share our story with everyone. We've had so much support from all around the world throughout the crowdfunding and the ups and downs of the story. Now we can actually share it with everyone in full detail. Speaking of, you have many details, which we won't give too much away, as to why this is so important to you, this bond, this relationship. You had a very tough childhood growing up. And when you see such beauty come out of it, and the fact that you've decided to make a children's version so that they can learn about bonds and rescue animals, what is so important for you to share to have people take home? What lesson? Well, that, that's really important aspects of it, and uh, you know, I, I've actually had a, uh, seen a lot through helping Gobi and finding Gobi, and I say that finding Gobi was one of the hardest things I've ever done, but her finding me was one of the best, and she's actually helped me through a lot of my problems in the past, as you mentioned, and uh, it's actually we get so many messages of support from people around the world saying she's helping them as well. There's so much sad and bad news at the moment that I think people want an inspirational, heartwarming story, and um, you know this is the summer read for it. It's the, it's the stuff that life's made of, and it's called Finding Gobi. It's a bestseller for a reason. It's uplifting. Make it a summer read on this first day of summer 2017, and it's coming to a big screen near you. Who would you like to play you? <laughs> I knew you were going to ask me. Yeah, that. who? There is so much interest from uh, so many actors. I'm actually not allowed to say anymore. Oh, but I see a little Liam Neeson. <laughs> Mm. 
Hugh <laughs> Jackman. Yeah, that uh, sounds good, yeah. But how about Gobi? That's going to be a tough one, isn't it, for both of you? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And enjoy each other. Look at Gobi. <laughs> She's going to stay here now. Basking in the sun. I love you.